what's good everybody welcome back to the channel today we're back with game of thrones and we got the season 7 official trailer and now we're back to 720p so i'm gonna go ahead and try to check out um some other trailers after this you know uh you know gotta make sure that they they the right ones you know what i'm saying because sometimes some trailers be like talking about the very end of the season type shit but um i guess you could just skip a little bit if you don't really care what i have to say but this is maybe two days like two or three days after uh yeah today is tuesday and i recorded on sunday i recorded uh the end of last last season the season six the last like three episodes and i don't know i haven't edited the videos so i don't know like today i'm about to start editing season three so um i don't know how they come out but hopefully they came out well because after cutting off the video and just kind of like laying down about to go to sleep and then waking up i was just like it could be all it could all be in my head i was just like damn i kind of kind of didn't like my rea i kind of didn't like my reaction but it could be in my head like f for instance uh i didn't like my reaction to the after i recorded it i don't remember if it was good or not anyway but when i recorded it that day i didn't like my reaction to the season one uh finale and i didn't like my reaction to the trailer and i was just kind of like <sighs> i kind of wanted to just talk about what i thought about season one and thought about the trailer and just like okay here's a uh, unlisted video if you just want to see the reaction like if you don't really give a shit so it could all be could all be in my head but i was just thinking that and there's one thing there's a couple things i want oh one of the things i wanted to address when it came to that john snow uh situation because i was asking the questions at the end of the video and then i thought about it because i'm like my thing was like I was trying to figure out is that Robert's kid or is that Rhaegar's kid and then I'm like does it matter because either way ain't that royal blood you know what I'm saying you got the you got the Targaryens and then because they said in the history and lore Rhaegar was the the uh, the 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 the, the, ki the king that could have been or whatever like the king that they wanted I think um that slide was uh sir barristan who who did that who narrated that slide and then and then baratheon like that's the that, that's been the whole royal line s since the show started i mean granted we saw we we know what it really is but i'm saying like from everyone's point of view whether they you know think it or not but <clears throat> um and there's other things I can I'll probably remember as it goes on. Oh, I I think I just talked about the transition, but then I thought about it cuz I, I it kept going it kept playing in my mind that uh on episode uh 9 when um when uh John was facing down the whole uh the whole army that shot was fire. I, th I think I just talked about how it transitioned. But the shot itself was fire. But uh, that's that's all I could think of uh, off the top of my head of some things I wanted to talk about. But I'm ready to jump into this. But before you do, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and let's get it. For show, okay, Arya. Oh, um, damn, what was that shit? It was something with Tom, and it was something with Tom. And another thing I wanted to say, um, oh, like if you took took a look took a I, I don't know if this was um um 
planned or not, or if this is just me overthinking. But if you look at how all her kids were killed, was the same way. But just it it, it was it was different. It was all poison. Joffrey poisoned by the Tyrells and um, damn, what was his name? Uh, Dantos or something shit like some shit like that. Uh, Marcella poisoned by um. Um, was it like it's like Elia or some shit like that. No, ain't that his sister? Old girl, old girl from from Dorn. You know what I'm saying? And we like those, the dumb Dornish women. We like those, but um, and then we get the Tommen. Now Tommen, he had no poison inside his body, but there was two types of poison metaphorically that was in his body the poisoning from from uh the high septon and the poison from from cersei which led to his death i don't know if that's just the overthink but man, that's how i look at it man all your kids died the same That, mm, that shit, hold on. Hold on. I was born to rule the seven kingdoms. And I will. Go ahead and do your thing, baby girl. Your father and brothers are gone, yet here you stand. Last best hope against the coming storm. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. All right, so I'm guessing you're talking to the red woman there. It doesn't matter how a skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Now we might be trying to skeleton. trying to unite John and Daenerys. And the Iron Throne. Cause hold on, let me try to let me try to piece together the lighting. Skeleton sits. I could see him on the other side of that table. How the lighting set up. But I could still see that as Winterfell. Oh shit, man. The Great War is here. The new season. All right, I literally just thought about it right now because I'm like, I'm like visually everything. Like if you just see this trailer, visually everything looks good. Everything looks good. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what could go wrong? Because listen, I, I, I know better to get my hopes up, man. I, I try to get my hopes up or I try to be like, Oh yeah, that was not good. But if you look at it in this, no, I'm 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 going in. Now, I'm going in on the other side of that spectrum, man. I'm going in, no types of hopes. But I gotta think, what could go wrong? One of the things I thought about before going to sleep is, damn, I wonder how people are gonna respond when I was talking about like I actually like the the last season of Dexter. I just didn't like, you know, all right, spoilers for Dexter. Skip 30, skip 30 seconds if you haven't seen Dexter and you're going to watch it. My problem wasn't Deb dying. It wasn't that it was a unhappy ending. It was the fact that he, he left and did what he did because he said his actions is why she died. No, because you were trying to be who you were is why that happened. That was my big issue with it. So then, like going off that to what I'm talking about here, we get Dexter New Blood. Now I'm not gonna spoil anything for Dexter New Blood, but every ep season of Dexter, twelve episodes. Dexter New Blood, ten episodes. Some of the things that didn't work could have worked with more time, and some of the things just didn't work, and then some things were like 
oh, hey, we're setting up this. Just kidding. No, you're not getting that. Why set this? Why sh Why do you even have... You can literally cut these scenes out. We don't need it at that point. But, um... Um... So that's why I'm trying to... I'm trying to think what could have went wrong. Even, uh... Besides the fact that... I don't know if it was just this season... Or last season... And the next two seasons. Or just season eight. I remember hearing that... They made these before the books were even released. I don't even know if the books are released now anyway. But besides that, what else could be a problem? And it could it could be that you could be rushing things. Just like Dexter New Blood rushed a lot of shit. They kind of let some shit dragged out. But towards the end... They tried to rush it all. Oh, we don't got 12 episodes. Let's let's rush everything at the end. I'm wondering, is this going to do the same thing, bro? And I, I was, I almost made a mistake literally right now and scroll down to the comments, but I know better. <sighs> but, um, because we got like 13 episodes left. Hold on. How we do the history? Oh, my... It might just be something that they're just doing regardless and they're just using source material and then trying to like I don't know I was about to say how we doing history and lore if y'all didn't have the the books yet but y'all probably just going on based off what y'all do it might not be it's probably not a thing of um um being written by the creator well, let me go ahead and... I don't know why I took the headphones off. I said I'm going to look at multiple trailers. To see if there's any difference. Or if see, you know, HD or not. Alright, this one's still good. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to July. It's supposed to... Hold on. Oh, no, no. It's supposed to June. It's, okay, cool, cool, cool. This is the song that was playing in the finale. Yeah, this gotta be. Because I remember I remember talking about it. And I was just like, it's crazy. Bro, that's crazy though. I don't know if I said that or not, but how they really use this song to bring it together. Because I'm like, all right, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. The keys are just kind of like, doo doo. N not that I didn't like it. It was just like, it, it kind of threw me off. It didn't really fit for me. Then when they brought the strings in, I was like, okay, I kind of see this. Then when they just made that bitch grand at the end, I'm like, golly, dude. Yeah, this is it. They fucking murdered these strings, dude. And the, and the choir was like, oh, shit. It just was, it was the keys that threw me off, dude. For centuries our families fought together against their common enemy, despite their differences together. We need to do the same if we're gonna survive. Exactly. Because the enemy is real. Okay, Pod. This dude got a wheelchair with it. Like, visually, like, you can see, like, okay, this has some merit. We're gonna have to see the, the character's decision. We're gonna have to see the storytelling. I wish I never just watched that shit because now I, I know I know I'm going to I'm going to, you know, react to a, a, another show after this. I'm going to edit some videos 
and I'm just gonna be laying in my bed, and I'm just I'm just gonna be here. Just this hairless song playing in my head over and over again, dude. This shit was not 1080 either. That's tough. We got another one. IGN, don't don't fail me. All right, your shit is. Oh, this is the same one. Just okay. It's a little bit more crisp. Where are you at? Like, where are you at in the story and where are you at IRL? Hold on, is she at, is she at, is she at uh, uh, what's it called, Dragonstone? Wherever Stannis was at. Cause ain't that, ain't that where, uh, I don't know if it was, was it? Yeah, yeah, ain't that where the, where, where the, uh, Targaryens were? And then next thing you know, uh, what was it? During the rebellion, Stannis was trapped there and then that's where, uh, uh, Sir Davos, uh, brought the, the, the food and then that's, that's how he <sighs> became his, basically his, uh, hand. If, you know, he would have got to that level. Um, but it, yeah, ain't that where that, where, where, where he was? And I, I'm thinking that's where she is now. Yeah, cause she's taking down the banners. Hey, this is my shit now. Well, this was my shit. You're done. You're done leasing it. This visual, this visual, beautiful though. And I, I want you, I want you to do what organically works, please. Don't just do the happy ending to do the happy ending. Don't just do the sad ending just to do the sad ending. And don't do, and don't do, let's keep it open. Let's keep it open. So how do y'all feel about stories that are just like, hey, we'll let the audience pick what it is. Some people, some people are like, oh, that, that is a great, the, most of the time, most of the time. A few times it works, but I don't like that. I hate that 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 storytelling of when they're like, "We'll let the audience uh, decide what it is." Something like, something like saying, saying, uh, I'm trying to think. There's like a couple instances where it works, and I'm like, okay, you don't really have to tell me. You'll kind of just put it together, but a lot of the, a lot of the times, especially like early two thousands, even filmmakers that I like, it would just be like, "Oh, hey, we'll 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 keep it open," and I don't like that. I I just you don't really gotta spell it out, but it, it just it kind of seems lazy in my in my point of view. So please don't do that here. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta. You don't have to tie up every single storyline, but have it have it meet a point where this is the end of our story organically. Don't do your little wink to camera like, hey, we might come back. Like, no. And don't be like, oh, hey, everything fucked up because we want a sad story. And don't do that happy shit because we need a happy ending. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If you liked it for the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, share with your friends. Stay tuned for the next one. It's been Ration by the World's Coolest Nerd, and I'm out. Peace.